A record crowd here at Chartway Arena tonight for the 89th renewal of the Town Bank Royal Rivalry, Old Dominion and James Madison. I'm Ted Alexander, Dennis Wolf alongside 8,504. We're here to watch an unbeaten JMU team look really good in the first half. I, I think they showed why they're the 18th ranked team in the country they, in almost every aspect of the game, defensively, sharing the ball, finishing around the basket. You know, we talked about it during the game. They have very good team size and good depth. Monarchs were scrapping. They weren't hitting many shots in the first half and fell behind by 20 at intermission. But uh, Yes, but I think in the second half they regrouped and, and they came out and played better and, and gave them something to build on as they go forward to the trip to Hawaii. Outscored James Madison the second 20 minutes. What did you like about the Monarchs' play in the second half? Well, they had better energy, and they didn't seem to allow uh, one bad play to neg negatively affect the rest of the uh, ensuing possession. So, again, there's got to be some emotional growth for this group as well. It's going to be an undersized team. How do you win with an undersized team? Well, you got to play faster. I think you're going to have to put you know, a little more pressure on them in the backcourt. You're going to have to spread them out a little bit more and, you know, and pick your spots to drive the ball and then share the ball. I think the key is sharing. You bring up a great point. Driving the ball into three guys means two guys are open. Well, and, and I think that is a little bit of a mindset, and I'm sure the coaches will create some drills and some situation and practices where the guys have to like pick and choose which play they're going to make and hopefully get them to mature a little bit. Monarchs had four players in double figures. Chauncey Jenkins leads the way. He had 19 points, 14 for Vishon Alette, 13 off the bench for Devin Caesar. You know, Devin is like instant offense. You know, he's he's can create his own shot, and, and I think you know as they can get him in the flow a little bit more. I'm so, I think he's someone that can you know, help them in a couple of different ways. The other monarch in double figures was Tyrone Williams. He had 11. He's another one of those monarchs, and they're going to be necessary this year. Who seems to play above his size. Well, again, he does, and, and, and he's, he's aggressive going to the basket, and, and I think he's an example of someone that has to kind of see what the traffic is in front of him to whether he's going to go all the way or whether he's going to, like, dribble it back out and, and let, you know, the guys live for another play. Kind of fun. This place was rocking. Uh, the fans are totally into the Monarch basketball program, and, you know, again, it's a long season, and I think there's going to be a lot of opportunities for, for them to get themselves straightened out, and hopefully everyone will stay with them. Tonight's edition of the Town Bank Royal Rivalry goes to James Madison by a final count of 84 to 69. Next up for the Monarchs, a trip to Honolulu and a Diamond Head Classic meeting with TCU. For Dennis Wolf, I'm Ted Alexander for Monarch Media.